Your entrance theme got you over immediately. 100%. 100%. And like true or false, this was originally supposed to be the theme song for Shinsuke Nakamura. I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. And I remember, um, I think you're right. I remember just being, uh, and it, the look, when I, when I signed, I had no idea about this song, right? I, we kind of talked, uh, we being Triple H and I talked a little bit about like what I wanted to do and character wise and what, where I was, what I was doing at TNA and no, the, I always like wearing the robes. I always like being like a throwback guy. Yeah. Not that I wanted to be Ric Flair, but I always just loved that look, yeah. you know, and I wanted to bring the robe back. And, um, you know, I was at NXT TV one day, this was before I debuted and he's like, I want you to listen to this song and, you know, listen to it. And it was like, yeah. I don't know. What do you mean? Right? It was just, it was different, right? It wasn't like a traditional theme song, but then I was like, well, this, this is, might work with like the robe and like, if the presentation is right, this will, this will work. And the presentation was above and beyond what I ever imagined. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely that song changed my career really. And it's crazy to think about that because everything else could have been the same, the presentation, the wrestling, the, the gear, yeah. everything with a different song your WWE run might have looked completely different. Yes, 100%. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, yeah, that song, I mean, people still talk about that song today. You know what I mean? My it's, friend entered to his wedding yes, to that song. I've seen a bunch of the, yeah, that's, that's, and that stuff is wild to me, right? <laughs> like, it's unbelievable when you, when you see, and I mean, I'm, I'm at a hockey game, you know, the Nashville Predators used it uh, for when after they won hockey games, they would play my song. What's the story behind that song? It was just a, a song that they, they created and they were waiting for the right person to give it to? I guess so, yeah. Wow. It was just kind of sitting there in the, in, the, in the library, apparently. And uh, yeah, I was just lucky enough to get it. And then it turned into, I loved it, what, what Johnny and Tommaso were doing with the Glorious Bombs. Yeah, yeah. And that made it even like more of this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just did that as a joke. And the first one was such a hit that we just continued to continue to do them. It was... A, it was Whenever we had some downtime in, in NXT on the on the road shows, because we all traveled together on the bus, right? So yeah, we'd always think of uh, creative ideas, to, things to do. That song is like the epitome of what your character was, though. Like you could play that song for someone who's never watched wrestling before, and they'd go, "Oh yeah, I think I I understand what this guy's all about." Yeah. And then when you actually see what your entrance looked like, it's like, "Oh yeah, that's exactly what I envisioned." Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it it's just a it's amazing how one little thing can change everything for you. Right. And that's the nature of sports entertainment, right? It's like, you could be the greatest wrestler in the world. You know what I mean? Bell to bell. Yeah. But if you don't have that connection with the audience, you're just another guy.